What's up, what's up, what's going on to all of my YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat friends and extended family. This is your girl coming at you again with another commentary of Chicago Talk. I wanted to start off this video by saying happy, fabulous Friday to everybody. And I wanted to say namaste and peace be on to you and everyone that is watching this video. Yes. Um, today I'm going to report, um, I'm actually going to give some updated news and this is regarding one of the old time legends, um, who is, as you know, he is currently car incarcerated and I'm talking about the, one of the co-founders of Death Row Records, Mr. Suge Knight and Lord have mercy. He done got himself into another pickle again. Suge Knight, you need to go somewhere and sit your old ass down somewhere and stop getting into trouble. How in the world are you getting caught up in all this trouble and you currently incarcerated though on a murder charge? But without further ado, let me get these glasses because I already had did some, um, took some notes in reference to this story. So as you know, yeah, again, this is in regards to Suge Knight. Now he has been currently been indicted uh, for making death threats against straight out of Compton's director, Gary Gray. Now, according to TMZ, this is not me, it's TMZ, the L.A. County um, Grand Jury indicted Suge Knight on fel felony criminal threats. He allegedly, and I do say again, allegedly, made the threat during the filming of the movie, but months before he killed a man involved in the production by driving over him in a Compton parking lot. Now, Suge was extremely unhappy with his portrayal in the movie and sent the threat by text. Now, this is my question I have in, in regards to this, um, this story. Now, how in the world was he able, I don't know if he had access to a cell phone or not, I'm not sure. How in the world was he able to send this uh, text message to Gary, to, to Gary Gray, and he's currently incarcerated? And on top of that, though, they're not allowed to have cell phones in the, in the, uh, in the prison. That's kind of suspect, suspect to me. I'm not sure about that, but... Uh, yeah, because I know the last time I did some research on uh, Suge Knight, I think this was back in March, that he was going through some uh, some health issues, and this was in regards to blood clots. So my thing is, I don't know if he's still going through it or not, though, but the last I saw in his pictures, it looked like he was okay. But, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies acting up. I'm sorry about that. I apologize, everybody. Yeah, but... um. In reference to the story, I mean, he need to be focusing on, you no, know, basically now is um, his health is concerned, you know, because where is he finding the time to, to send this message to this man and making uh, death threats like this? And for him to say that he wasn't happy in regards to his portrayal in the movie, I mean, hey, you know, when you're talking about these big production companies, you know, and they're making movies in reference to a person's life, I mean, if it's something that you don't agree about, then... I mean, it's a way to do things, but, you know, but at the end of the day, after everything is said and done, you know, that production company is basically going to pretty much do what they want to. So, you know, I mean, he should, I mean, my thing is this, though, he should have handled the situation a little bit more better than just sitting up there and just sending threats to the man like that, just because that, you know, he disagrees in terms of the portrayal of himself in the movie. I mean, come on, it's just a movie. I mean, it's not, I mean, it might have been uh you know, it's telling a story, but it's not saying everything that everything in the movie is 100% true. So, but yeah, my opinion in reference to this, he could have handled the situation a little bit more better than what he did. And I want to ask you a question, uh, to, and this is to my subscribers, and I want you to leave a comment on the bottom. I really feel, I mean, even though this is old news, but I, I really truly feel that I, I believe personally he had something to do with Tupac's murder because... I could look at him and just tell, though, that he's, you know, he looks like one evil type of individual. I mean, that would do something crazy like that. But leave your comments, people, at the bottom and let me know what you think. Do you do you feel that he had something to do with Tupac's murder? And what is your intake about this, um, by him making this threat to this man, though, um, Gary Gray? And let me know what your intake on this is. Because this, this is kind of, to me, that's kind of a little bit suspect. You know, but once I find out more information, once I, you know, I'm going to study it more, just study the story more. And if I find more update, up-to-date information, I will definitely let you know about it. 
And uh, also, again, I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to address this question one more time, even though a lot of people said do what I do. But the reason why I'm addressing this question is because I do care about my subscribers. I want to keep this plateau strong. Excuse me again. You know, my I don't know. I guess it's allergies is acting up again. I want to keep this plateau strong and I want to do everything that I can to keep the people interested and to, uh, continuously watch my videos. So, yeah, um, if you have any suggestions in terms of future topics you want me to talk about, please let me know. And OK, I forgot. Also, I got to do that story about Nicki Minaj. I totally forgot about that. I didn't. It's like I haven't been thinking about it, but I will get into it though on the next video. But yeah, that's the only thing I can think of is the Nicki Minaj story. So besides that, please leave your comments as well. You know, what future topics did you want me to talk about in the future videos and also live stream videos as well. And um, again, um, I want to end this video on this on this brief note. I want to say happy Friday to everybody and I hope everybody has a spectacular weekend. And for those of my people in Chicago, please be careful if you decide if you want to go to that concert downtown as far as Lollapalooza. Because, yes, this is Lollapalooza weekend and the traffic was terrible. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And, you know, and I want to thank all of my subscribers to, for their love and for their support. And also share and subscribe to uh, this video. Subscribe to my channel. Share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell on the bottom as far as for future notifications of my up and coming videos. And once again, I want to say peace be on to you and everybody. And I say I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize God within each and every one of you. Again, have a great weekend. And until the next video. Dropping the mic. Peace.